When I think of a venue, images of a sprawling music complex with stages for performances come to my mind first. But when Hyundai thinks of venue, you get this, a compact crossover type vehicle with a large crossover feature set. Hyundai let me borrow this guy for the last week, so let's take a look. Truth be told, I am not the biggest person. At under six feet, I have never been the biggest or tallest guy in the room or at the party. But standing next to the Hyundai venue, I feel as if I could wrap my arms around it. It's, it's kind of that small. But despite its small size, the venue has some big car features. Just looking at it from the outside, you can begin to see a little of what I mean. Up front, this SEL trim level has LED daytime running lights and even LED headlights standard. From the side, we've got nice alloy rims, and out back, we've got LED taillights with a wide accessible hatch. Once you get in the venue, the compactness of the vehicle really starts to stand out. Anyone over six feet, don't even bother. You're not gonna fit. And anyone else, like myself, of a smaller stature, don't worry, you'll be fine. But once you've settled in, the features that the venue carries are actually pretty big. Despite this vehicle's extremely reasonable price, this SEL has a sticker of only $23,000. It comes with a lot of features that you would only find in vehicles that cost much more, like an eight inch infotainment system with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, a fully automatic climate control, heated seats, multiple drive modes, and that's not even beginning to talk about the safety systems involved, like automatic lane centering, blind spot awareness, and rear cross traffic alert. So now that we're behind the wheel of the Hyundai Venue, let's get one thing out of the way really quickly. The Hyundai Venue is not getting out of the way quickly. Pushing down the accelerator pedal just doesn't result in very much. With only a 121 horsepower, the venue has a lot of focus on fuel economy and only a barely adequate focus on acceleration. Even with a CVT transmission, fully depressing the accelerator pedal only gives satisfactory acceleration. Behold, 122 horsepower. a solid seven seconds to zero to 60 <laughs> or more. But fuel economy, on the other hand, is quite nice. I've driven this venue for around 200 miles and averaged around 40 miles per gallon. If that's what's important to you, then the Hyundai venue will not disappoint. Around town, the venue's lack of acceleration isn't as noticeable. It zips and curves around bends and tight spaces really easily. However, on the highway, when you really get into it, that lack of power is far more noticeable. But what the venue lacks in acceleration, it makes up for it somewhat in handling. Steering is centered and on point, body roll is non-existent, and the whole vehicle just feels composed and capable. It's not something you typically find on a vehicle this light and affordable. So that brings us to the title of this video. Why would someone want to buy a Hyundai Venue? Actually, it's really simple. It's because they want an intense value for their vehicle. They don't want to break the bank. They want good fuel economy and they'll get it with this car and they also want all the technology and safety features that they get on a full-size crossover without paying a full-size crossover price. It's just that simple. I'm Zane Murva for Drive Them All.